we understand birth from the baby's perspective as consisting of four stages, which are different from the three stages of uh, the obstetrical understanding of birth. Uh, and in these four stages, we're focusing on specific physical, psychological, emotional, and existential themes. The first stage is when the baby is against the mother's cervix here and labor starts and we get the contractions of labor pushing the baby down against the cervix here we call this stage one and because the baby is under extreme pressure and there's no exit at this stage there's no way out the baby doesn't know that he or she is going to get through here and survive. So this is an incredibly intense experience. And how we deal with pressure later on in life and how we deal with starting projects can have a lot of, uh, a lot of strong resonances with this very early experience. As the cervix begins to open, the baby descends down into the birth canal. And here, the baby needs to rotate. The baby needs to rotate here because the pelvic outlet, which is down here, is wider from front to back than the pelvic inlet, which is up here, which is wider from side to side. So the baby begins in the transverse stage in, in stage one, it's transverse. The baby then moves slightly obliquely as the baby descends and then the baby's head rotates to get under the pubic arch here. And this rotational stage we call stage two. And here the baby has to find their way through the mid pelvis. The baby has moved out of the environment that he or she has lived in for, for the whole of life so far into this whole new unknown and this is, this is often, the, one of the major themes here is around orientation, finding our way in life. What's our relationship with when we get lost, for example? Do we get very panicky? It may have a relationship with this stage. The baby then moves into stage three, where the baby's face is up against the sacrum, this bone here. And the baby is trying to move underneath the pubic arch there. At the same time, the baby's abdomen and chest is up against this large area of bone here called the lumbosacral promontory. Here the umbilical cord which is coming out of here can often get compressed so the baby may uh, lose oxygen at this stage. And the baby here is, often gets very exhausted too so how we manage our energy levels is very much to do with this stage three and there's a second part to the stage three, which is about moving up the curve of the sacrum and, and out as the baby begins to crown. And this is very much connected with what's it like to be seen for the first time. I'm about to be seen. What's that like? Do I feel like I'm going to be welcomed here? What's happening out there? Does it feel like a place that's going to welcome me or not? As the baby moves through here, the baby then has to, there's another slight rotation here, which we call restitution. This is our stage four. And stage four consists of the head and the body of the baby being born. And at this stage, the baby is outside in a whole new environment. Suddenly there is gravity, suddenly there is there is light, there is activity all around. The boundaries of the womb that the baby has known up until now are completely gone. And the baby is hearing things, seeing things in a completely new way. It's a massive transition. The baby takes the first breath. And what that's like for the baby, what kind of welcome the baby feels, are this first impression of the world is such an important experience for us. It has such an imprint on us, on, on 
our sense of who we are in the world and what the world is like. And at this stage, the umbilical cord is usually clamped and cut fairly soon in the first few minutes of the uh, life outside of the womb. And if we can think about the umbilical cord, this is, this is my lifeline, this is my connection with mother, and ideally the umbilical cord is left to pulse. It continues to pulse maybe for some minutes, it can, it can be quite a long time actually. And the baby gradually begins to take the first breath, the, the, the lungs are, are working for the first time uh, in the proper sense of, of the baby breathing independently. But if the cord is clamped and cut too soon, it's a real shock for the baby. So there's a lot around this stage four connected with, with the shock of transition. If it's too quick, if it feels like a violent transition, that can really affect all other transitions later in life.